What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Welcome back. Hopefully everyone is having an amazing Tuesday. I know I am. You know how those last days before your vacation go, they kind of just drag and they just keep going and going. You just want them to come to an end. I don't know if I'm going to make it the full day. I probably won't. I'll probably end the day with a nice gym session, call it a day, go home, take a quick nap, wake up, have some dinner, and then let the party get started. But listen, in this video, in all seriousness, we got some awesome things we're going to talk about. As you can probably already tell by the thumbnail of this video, we are going to be discussing an XRP slash Ripple versus SEC settlement. I'm going to go over a couple of slides, a couple of videos. We're going to talk about how each and every single day we are getting closer to that. I'm going to call it a magical place because when this is over, this is the last hurdle that's going to get in the way of XRP doing what it has to do. We've heard from Novogratz. We've heard from Clayton. We heard from Gensler. They can only try to shoot this thing and hold it back for so long. But you know what? At the end of the day, what Ripple is doing is going to change the world. We're also going to talk about massive amounts of XRP that is on the move. How about that Roslyn Layton article? Was it really pulled? Or... Was it not pulled? Was it taken off to be rewritten? We got some answers. And in the BIS, I briefly touched on this in the first video today. They said no to crypto speculation, but yes to digital asset innovation. I want to get into that piece. I want to get into it a little bit deeper because there are a lot of beautiful, beautiful breadcrumbs in there. So as we always do, let's head over to Livecoin. Watch what are we seeing out there? Bitcoin, $20,396. It is currently up 3% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum, $1,584. It's up 9.61%. Uh, we love XRP still coming out at 33 cents. I just want to say, and I'm going to keep saying this, it's been crazy how XRP has been holding this 33 cent range. No matter what happens, you can see Ethereum down 10%. You can see Bitcoin down 8%, but XRP is still coming at 33 cents. Total cryptocurrency market is back above $1 trillion. I missed the days when we were up to 2 trillion, 2.3. Those are good old days, but we'll be back there in no time as the Bitcoin dominance hovers around 38.41%. Now, I want to remind everyone about the XRP merch store, and this is in the description of each and every one of my videos. You need to go over there. You need to get yourself some XRP merch. For those warm summer days, get yourself a tumbler. For those cold winter days, get yourself a tumbler. Keep that coffee warm. We got all different types of colors. I'll tell you right now, the green is the hottest seller. I believe there's about seven or so green left. We won't be getting any more in. Once they're gone, they are gone. It is free shipping in the U.S. And now I want to give out actually a shout out to one of my Discord members yesterday. I was talking with him. He was like, hey, can you shout out my company? And of course I can. It is Jam Pro Contractor LLC. They do a bunch of different construction work in the Hartford County area down in Connecticut. I should say up in Connecticut since I am in Florida. I'm going to link their information below. Hey, you need a, you need a little help. You need some construction. You want to get with another XRP lover holder? You got a guy right there. Now we move over here, Lord XRP, and this is one of the, this is probably the truest statement I have seen. If you are holding utility coins, it's just a matter of time to become a millionaire. They will say to you, "It was an, it was easy, but it wasn't." And I put out a tweet yesterday. I really wish I pulled it up. My tweet stated, "Stick to the plan. You know what you hold." Stop taking shortcuts. Stop trying to get cute. Just relax. And that's so true because if your token has utility, at the end of the day, it's going to win out. Instead, people like to see, uh, you know, something new pops out to see a bunch of money running into it. They think they're going to get in, get a quick 2x and get out. Next thing you know, they get liquidated. Those are the types of shortcuts you need to look to avoid, folks. It is that simple. And now, as we look at XRP Scanner, we're looking at... The non-fungible tokens, version 101. This is the voting to introduce version 1.92, which is the NFT capability to the validators. We are at 26 yeses out of 28 so far. Here are the nays. There's nine of them. I have a feeling Arrington Capital will be the last. Question is who's going to come in? Hopefully it's Bitso. Just because it says nay, remember, does not mean they voted no. Nay just means that they have not voted yet. So we have nine people who have not voted yet. We need two of these. Then we need to hold for two weeks, folks. And then the NFTs are coming to the XRP ledger. I can't wait. And I want to remind you about this. My good friends over at the Board 8 Football Club. 
They opened up a massive football stadium over in Lux Lines Oasis, 250,000 square feet to be exact, with a bunch of different plots of land right around the stadium. That is what we call prime real estate. Let me blow it up. You can see it all in the yellow here, surrounded by their logo. That's going to be the awesome football stadium. They, uh, they don't have a lot left. They let these go to their, their top holders, the top solo holders first. Those people ate up these plots, but if you want to get some, you need to get a hold of them now before they are all gone. And when they are gone, they are gone. You're going to be looking on the secondary market and you are going to be paying a lot more than you want to. Trust me. Then my man Michael put this out. The recent huge XRP transactions saw a movement of 742,471 and 122 XRP coins over the last 24 hours. Shortly after 500 million XRP were withdrawn from Kraken to an unknown wallet, the funds were worth over $247 million. Folks, we see this time and time again. Here's the article. You can see well where it put it out. Crypto.com, FTX, Bitstamp. We are seeing a lot of the same exchanges moving a lot of XRP. The question is, where is it going? And you know what? One day I do believe that we are going to find out where all that XRP was going or what it was doing or why it was on a move, what it's being set up to be used for. I really do believe that. I think when we step back and we look at the puzzle that is being put together right in front of our very eyes, we are going to be pleasantly surprised thinking or knowing that we were right the whole time. I do believe that deep down inside. Then the BIS Touched on this briefly this morning. I'm just going to hit it real quick again. They said yes to digital asset innovation and no to cryptocurrency speculation. This is the central bank speech, which was given today, I believe it looks like. Talks about how, on the other hand, that Moss is promoting a Singapore as a fintech hub and they are partnering. In their, they're partnering with industry to explore distributed ledger technology and supporting innovation in digital asset use cases. Now, why do I want to tell you this about digital asset use cases? Well, if you've been here for a while like myself, Brad Gollenkaus has always made it clear when he was on stage to use the word digital asset, not cryptocurrency, right? Always made it clear to talk about digital asset. There is a reason Ripple uses the words that they use, and I believe because it aligns exactly with the IMF and BIS are speaking and talking about. And then Bob put this out on Jay Clay and joining Electronic Capital. Listen to this. Tell me ETHGATE is not the realest thing you ever heard in your life. What a great point by Wendy. If he cared, well, he did care. He cared about his pockets because he did very well for his pockets. He lined his pockets, but he didn't care about anything else because Bitcoin and Ethereum got a free pass by him and Billy Boy Hinman. But now you think because he's going to join this new crypto investor report that he's all of a sudden going to be pro crypto. And you know what? Even if he is, it doesn't matter because he has no say anymore. He has no opinion. He's not part of the SEC. If he wanted to do good, he would have done it while he was in office. Who cares what he says now? It doesn't matter. He can come out and be like, XRP is not a security. What does it matter? His opinion does not count anymore. What a freaking joke. And then we get this. This is the pre Barra. He's talking about the Ripple case without mentioning it. Talking about the former SEC chairman. Listen to this.
Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? What do you think they're talking about there? I don't know what they're talking about. So do you. When we took look at that Rosin Lane article, looks like she pulled it. That Forbes. She wanted to rewrite it. Interesting. I wonder why. I wonder what they're going to rewrite. I really wish I had a copy of the original. I saw someone on Twitter does so we could compare the old to the new because I thought that that original article, I thought the title hit it home alone. Gary Gensler's done nothing for crypto. Nothing. All they do is want you to come in so they can drop a lawsuit on here. They want you to do their work so they don't have to go investigate you. They want you to spill the beans on yourself. But then we get to this and we talked about the Fed now. Let's just look, watch a clip of this. I think you understand what's going on here. And this all ties into what David Schwartz said. I told you in the first video, I'm going to tell you again, that XRP would complement the Fed now in these domestic real-time payment systems across the globe in a beautiful, beautiful way. So folks, each and every day that passes, just remember this, we are one step closer to this Ripple versus SEC lawsuit going away. Each and every day that moves past us. This lawsuit is one step closer to coming to an end. When it comes to an end, we will have the first cryptocurrency within the U.S. that has regulatory approval. We will have the first cryptocurrency in the U.S. that is going to be legally listed on all of these exchanges because it is clear. We will have institutions then uh, getting their clients into it because they know what it actually is. There is going to be a trickle-down effect. There is going to be a mass flood of news coming through. The settlement's going to happen. I'm still aiming for this year. If I'm wrong, then you guys Gotta wait three more months when we get into 2023 but i don't see it lasting that long i don't see these hinman emails coming out there is a reason they are being hidden and fought for so hard because those hinman emails are the nail in the coffin that's gonna do it for me wash your damn hands be nice be kind to each other ripple down winkle is out